Have you ever tried to quench your thirst by eating sand? Sounds absurd, right? Now let's take a moment to ponder on this analogy. You see, attempting to satisfy a craving for water by consuming sand is not only ineffective but also harmful. It's a futile endeavor that only worsens your predicament. And this, my friends, is a fitting analogy for the practice of watching porn without masturbating. You might think you're playing it safe, that you're somehow controlling your urges. But let's be real here, it's like sowing a seed and expecting it not to grow. The soil may not be watered today, but give it a day or two, and nature will inevitably take its course. The same goes for watching porn without the act of self-pleasure. It's a seed that's been sown, a spark that threatens to ignite into a full-blown inferno if left unchecked. This practice is not just unhealthy, it's a pitfall, a trap that lures you in with the illusion of control only to ensnare you further into the clutches of addiction. It's an unseen pitfall, one that's often overlooked in the journey of recovery, and it's high time we shed some light on it. Understanding this pitfall is crucial, especially if you're serious about overcoming your addiction to porn and masturbation. It's a dangerous dance on the edge of a precipice, a game of Russian roulette where you're the only player, and the stakes are your mental and emotional well-being. From a recovery expert standpoint, watching porn without masturbating is akin to a recovering alcoholic hanging out in a bar. It's a precarious situation that only fuels the desire, intensifies the craving, and ultimately sets the stage for a relapse. So let's be clear here. Recovery isn't about walking the tightrope of temptation. It's about distancing yourself from the triggers, about building a healthy and balanced life where such pitfalls hold no sway over you. Remember, just like eating sand won't quench your thirst, watching porn without masturbating won't help you overcome your addiction. How many of you think that watching porn without masturbating is a step towards recovery? Well, let's hear it from the expert. In our quest to understand the complexities of this issue, we turn to a renowned recovery expert who has spent years studying the effects of porn and masturbation on mental and physical health. Their insight paints a picture that is both enlightening and cautionary. Our expert opines that watching porn without masturbating is akin to playing with fire while trying to avoid getting burnt. It might seem like a harmless compromise at first, but it's a slippery slope that could potentially lead you back into the throes of addiction. Drawing from their extensive research and experience, they liken this practice to sowing a seed of addiction. You might not water the seed right away, but you've planted it in fertile ground. Over time, the seed will sprout and grow, perhaps not immediately, but perhaps the next day or the other day. One can't simply stand at the edge of the abyss and not expect to fall in eventually. They also underscore a fundamental truth about addiction recovery. It's not about how you engage with the object of your addiction, but rather about how you distance yourself from it. It's about breaking free from the shackles that bind you, not finding new ways to wear them. The expert's perspective is clear. Watching porn without masturbating is not a step towards recovery, but rather a detour that could lead you back to the very habits you're trying to quit. It's a strategy that might seem effective in the short term, but its long-term effects can be devastating. In their years of experience, they've seen numerous cases where individuals thought they were making progress by watching porn without masturbating, only to find themselves falling back into their old patterns. This strategy, they emphasize, is a mirage that offers false hope. According to our expert, the key to recovery is not watching porn without masturbating, but eliminating porn from your life altogether. So, if watching porn without masturbating is not the solution, what is? The road to recovery from any addiction, including pornography and masturbation, is a journey that requires dedication, discipline, and sometimes a helping hand. It's about taking a brave step towards a healthier, more fulfilling life. To begin, it's crucial to acknowledge the problem. This can be a challenging step, but it's the cornerstone of recovery. Recognize that the consumption of pornography and the act of masturbation have become more than just casual habits, but rather, they've morphed into a compulsive need. Once you've made this realization, it's time to seek professional help. Therapists and counselors trained in addiction recovery can provide guidance, strategies and support. They can help you understand the root cause of your addiction and work with you to develop a personalized plan to overcome it. But remember, you're not alone in this journey. Joining recovery groups can be incredibly beneficial. 
These groups provide a safe space to share experiences, struggles, victories and setbacks. It's a community of individuals who understand what you're going through, offering empathy, encouragement and perhaps most importantly hope. Another integral part of the recovery process is practicing self-discipline. This means setting boundaries for yourself, avoiding triggers that might lead to a relapse, and finding healthier ways to cope with stress, anxiety, or boredom. Exercise, meditation, and pursuing new hobbies can all be effective outlets. And while the road to recovery is often challenging, it's also an opportunity for self-discovery and personal growth. It's a chance to learn more about yourself, your strengths, your values, and your dreams. It's about reclaiming control over your life and moving towards a future where you're the master of your own actions, not a slave to your impulses. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step towards recovery today. Don't let your past define your future. Instead, let your future be defined by the courageous steps you take today towards a healthier, more fulfilling life. Recovery can seem like a daunting journey, especially when you're navigating it alone. But remember, there are resources out there designed to help you. One such resource is the book titled Rewiring the Porn and Fap Addicted Brain, a neuroscience-based technique to overcome porn and masturbation addiction. This book, written by experts in the field, provides an in-depth insight into the neuroscience behind addiction. It offers practical, science-based techniques to overcome the compulsive need for pornography and masturbation. The book is a roadmap to recovery, guiding you through the process with knowledge, understanding and practical advice. It's an invaluable resource for anyone embarking on the journey of recovery. Rewiring the Porn and Fap Addicted Brain is available in both ebook and hard copy formats, ensuring you can access its wealth of knowledge in a way that suits you best. The link to purchase this transformative guide is in the description box below. Remember, the road to recovery isn't a path walked alone. It's a journey shared with countless others who have walked in your shoes. And with the help of expert guidance like that provided in rewiring the porn and fap addicted brain, you too can reclaim control and move towards a healthier, more fulfilling life.